Welcome to the fourth video of the ABCs of CPQ Technology. Today I have a special guest, Jeff Webb. Welcome back, Jeff. Thank you. Today what we want to look at is CPQ Technology and e-commerce. If you remember back in video two, I talked a little bit about CPQ Technology and how you can plug CPQ Technologies into e-commerce platforms. Now Jeff, CPQ Technology has a growing presence in e-commerce. Can you talk a little bit about how you see um, the role that CPQ Technologies are going to play in e-commerce moving forward and even some pricing optimization technologies too. Yeah, absolutely. And, and there is a significant role to be played there. You think about the, the things we've been talking about up to now, uh, especially in the, the last video, a lot of the effort is really focused on transforming the sales process overall so that the sales folks themselves are better enabled to answer the questions the customer asks, to deliver value at that point of interaction to make sure that they remove errors, respond more quickly and so on. But more and more B2B organizations are thinking about establishing an e-commerce presence. Right? They know that buyers want to buy online. They know that people want to be able to move between an online uh, purchasing experience and maybe talking to a salesperson when they have more questions, when they need more detail. So the question comes up, how do you basically take that same sales facilitation capability, right, making it faster and, and less error prone and, and making sure the price is correct and extend that into the world of e-commerce. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing is real interest in and people starting to build out the CPQ capability and extending it into the e-commerce portal environments so that a customer can come in and essentially interact with the same core technology that the salesperson would have been interacting with. So they can start to do things like configure themselves, their own product set, but still working within the constraints that the CPQ technology knows is this is the right way to configure that product for the needs that you have. Um, to make sure that they get a, a good rational price in their e-commerce environment, but critically that that price is consistent across all of the different channels that they'd be interacting with. So I could be buying through an e-commerce portal, I have a question, I need to speak to a salesperson. So I go and talk to the salesperson, because they're using the same sets of underlying technology, they're based on the same foundation of information and insight, the salesperson understands that requirement, understands the customer need, sees that the pricing is you know, rational for this environment, for this interaction, and so there's consistency across all of those different portals, different interactions, different channels. The salesperson understands that requirement, understands the customer need, sees that the pricing is you know, rational for this environment, for this interaction, and so there's consistency across all of those different portals, different interactions, different channels. What that means to the customer is they get, first of all, a much deeper set of trust in the business. They know that they're getting a rational set of pricing. They know that they're being offered the right product for that particular need that they have. And they see that consistency, which means that it's much easier for them to move between channels. So I can buy online, I can ask a salesperson, I can go back to a, an e-commerce portal and continue that process. And it makes it much easier for them to conduct the business how and when and where they want. So the business ultimately is engaging with the customer in exactly the way the customer wants, which fundamentally drives a really good customer experience. So while CPQ today is really powering that sort of transformation in the way the traditional sales force is working, it is ultimately also going to play a central role in the powering of the shift to digital commerce models, whether that's an e-commerce kind of platform or even through other devices, things like IoT, mobile buying and so on. So it really has an incredible length of value to deliver to the business overall. That's fantastic. And you know, when you were talking, uh, I just kept thinking about the whole omni-channel experience. Mm -hmm. so that's exactly what you were describing. And I remember this past um, Christmas, I was purchasing, I was trying to buy some things online. Right. And I'd gone onto a vendor's site and I found a purse. And I was trying to get the, uh, the the price for it. Of course, you know, it's listed on there. So I actually called them because I had a question around delivery. Mm -hmm. What was very interesting is that they knew exactly who I was when I picked up the yeah. phone. And it just, it was so surprising because I thought I was gonna have to give them the product description, go find the name, et cetera. But it just goes to show how a lot of vendors are, or a lot of companies are already seeing that they need to be able to make the shift between channels very seamless for that end buyer or for that end customer. Yeah. And I believe that CPQ technology really is going to be central to this. It is. It is. And actually, what's interesting is what you're seeing is the 
the high degree of maturity in managing that in the B2C world, right? As a consumer, you see that all the time. And what we have to remember is that business buyers bring the same set of expectations to their B2B world. And so there is that now explosive growth in interest in saying, well, how do I deliver that same really good customer experience in my B2B interactions that I know my buyers are seeing in my B2C world? And again, we see technologies like the ability to derive information from large sets of transactions through AI, delivered through CPQ technologies, delivered to a salesperson or an e-commerce portal, helps deliver that and ultimately power that great um, customer experience. That's fantastic. Well, thanks, Jeff. This was very, very insightful. CPQ is playing a huge role when it comes to e-commerce, and not only does it play a huge role today, a lot of leading companies are looking at ways to continue to deliver that omni-channel experience for their customer based on these technologies. Mm -hmm.